search and rescue flights of numbers 22 and 202 squadrons. Long station in Lee's Park, 1977. At various points, the fleet was boosted, including after the Falklands War in 1982, because sea kings were needed out there to provide search and rescue facilities in the South Atlantic. And then later, when the final search and rescue Wessex were retired in the 1990s, six HAR-3A models, it was those we used to see here with 22 Squadron from Water Show, were ordered to replace the last of those Wessex. So there's the sea king with the Wessex and the world we do trail. service from 1967.
tasks with 845 Wing Less Squadron in the Falklands in 1982, having been flown out there as cargo aboard one of the short Belfast airlifters of the cargo airlines. Came back aboard the Royal Fleet Auxiliary Ship Oliver in November 1983, and it was retired three years later, becoming a ground instructional airframe. At one point it was actually allocated to the Royal Navy Historic Flight, but it ended up being bought by Andrew Whitehouse. And it flew again on the 15th of February 2009 from their base, historic helicopter's base, a charred equestrian in Somerset, after 10,000 hours had been spent on its restoration. Yeovilton International Air Day and as you may have seen in the TV series Warburg Workshop it made its post-restoration debut and here's a nice sight look at the Wessex hovering in crowd centre the Sea King and the Whirlwind passing overhead Transitioning back to Ford Flight, that's going to join up with the Sea King as they hold off while we enjoy the wonderful sight and sound of the Whirlwind with its Bristol Siddeley Gnome turboshaft engine. Gives this machine a cruising speed of just 104 miles an hour. So transits into wind are a rather lengthy procedure. The first version, in fact, to be used by the British military was the HAR-1 rescue and communications helicopter for the Navy, which was also its RAF variant, with the low turbo shaft engine. is a hugely nostalgic sight in its own right. From the days of these fine helicopters being used to provide air sea rescue coverage. This one became an instructional airframe with the search and rescue engineering wing at Finningley. It was then bought by a private owner, Brian Austin, at Cricklade in Wiltshire. In 1993 he restored it to flying condition and it was 
based there for a few years. It then went to an owner in the Republic of Ireland. Carried on flights there. Terrain. On board one of these aircraft in service would have been a standard crew of four, 